Now, a father whose three children were killed by his mentally ill wife has told Sky News that the mental health care system in Ireland needs serious reform. Andrew McGinley's wife, Deirdre, was found not guilty of the children's murder by reason of insanity. Mr McGinley, who's now taking legal action, has been speaking to our Ireland correspondent, Stephen Murphy, and a warning, you may find the details in his report distressing. This is the last video Andrew McGinley has of his children. Six days after this was recorded, all three were dead. Two years ago today, nine-year-old Connor, seven-year-old Dara and three-year-old Carla were suffocated at the family home in Newcastle County, Dublin by their mother, Deirdre Morley. She was later found not guilty of murder by reason of insanity. Andrew remembers returning home from work as the first responders arrived. And it was then that I, I thought, where are the children? So um, I discovered their, their, their bodies in the house uh, when, I, when I went in. And, and, um, but um, you, you, you just think it doesn't happen. How does this happen to, to you? And you just look for answers and two years later I'm still looking for answers. After the trial, Andrew's wife was committed to a mental hospital in Dublin. Have you forgiven her? I can't forgive how the, the, the children died. I understand that she was ill. I mean, the, the Deirdre that I knew and loved was a loving and caring mother. She was a nurse. Deirdre Morley had been receiving psychiatric care before the deaths, but Andrew now wants legislative reform so that families of those who are mentally ill can be included in their treatment. It's just led, led me with so many more questions. And I think if I was included all the way along, then I wouldn't have those questions or I'd already know the answers. Two years on, Andrew has honoured Connor's wish for a YouTube channel by creating Connor's clips, sharing videos from happier times. I dread to think if I hadn't, if, if I didn't have Connor's clips, what would I be doing? Because that, every morning the alarm goes off, it hits you like a sledgehammer, what has happened? The videos show the close bond between the boys and their sister, Carla. She had a little fairy costume on her wand. Carla, you have to wave your wand and say. She goes in going, I'm changing you into monkeys and frogs. And the two lads are, yeah, yeah, work away, changes. And they start jumping around the place. You've turned them both into frogs? Ribbit, ribbit. And for me, that was the bond between them. Oh my goodness, will you turn them back into boys? Andrew has also started a colouring competition for Carla and a charity in Dara's name. He says these legacy projects keep him going day to day. It's to remember Connor, Dara and Carla. Yeah. And that's why you're doing this? Yeah, yeah to, um, to keep the promises. Night, night. <laughs> Stephen Murphy, Sky News in Dublin. <laughs>